Welcome to the DevExpress Learn Now series, a set of quick tutorials to help you get started using DevExpress controls. In this video, you'll learn the basics of our ASP.NET grid. I'll show you how to data bind the grid to a SQL database, and then I'll show you some basic customizations that provide skins as well as including insert, update, and delete buttons. So let's take a look. I'll start by selecting the ASPX grid view located under the data section of our DX toolbox. You'll see our grid appears with a menu open to make all adjustments needed. Let's start by choosing a new data source from the dropdown here. A wizard appears with the different data source types available to choose from. As you can see, there's a variety of different types to choose. For this example, we're going to use a SQL database and choose OK. Here we need to create a new connection and then browse to find the sample Northwind database. Click OK and then Next where we have to choose the tables we want to use. For now, I'll choose the following fields for the customer's table. Then I'm going to click on the Advanced button and select the option to generate insert, update, and delete statements. This allows these buttons to appear when we enable them from the Smart Tag later on. Now I'll click Next and then Test Query. Our grid appears to be good in the preview window, so I'll click Finish to complete the wizard. The grid is now bound to our SQL database. Let's run the grid to look at the default behaviors. You'll see the grid has sorting and paging functionality out of the box, but there's a lot more we can do to the grid. Let's create a skin and add our row insert update and delete buttons. I'll click on the smart tag and begin to select the options below. First is show group panel. It creates a panel up top for grouping data. Enable editing allows the end user to modify the data in a specific row. Enable Inserting allows end users to create new rows with new data. Enable Selection gives the user a checkbox to help with row selection. Enable Deleting allows the end user to delete that specific row of data. And Enable Filtering gives us a text box so end users can filter by typing in their search terms. Now let's set a theme. From the Theme dropdown, you'll notice a number of themes with a preview window of what each theme looks like. Let's check out the soft orange theme. You'll notice the changes appear in our design window. Let's run this application now and look at the added functionality. As you can see, a typical end user can still sort the data by alphabetical order. Only now they have the ability to edit data in each row, create a new row with new data, delete rows, and select rows with the selection checkbox. They can also filter data from a specific row and group the rows to help see each country better. So there you have the basics of getting started with the ASP.NET Grid. Check out more videos to go into further detail on our Learn Now series. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.